here in Kentucky, we got these hot rolling summers. It's just, a, it's a given. So what we're trying to do with this study right here is help farmers and forest producers understand how to keep their forage and their cool season grasses, more importantly, persisting throughout the summer so that when we end through this hot summer, get to that cool season, we still have a stand of cool season grasses to carry through our pasture. So what we got here is our defoliation study plots on cool spring fescue. So to start off, this is my one inch weekly plot that's mown to a one inch height every week. This one is my four and a half inch uh, weekly. So I mow it to four and a half inches every week. And this one is four and a half monthly. So at four and a half inches every other month. And then over here as we spread out, this is our replication. So four and a half weekly, one inch, one, four and a half month. Then over here, it's four and a half month, uh, four and a half weekly, one inch, four and a half monthly, one inch, four and a half weekly. These data loggers are how I capture the soil temperature. So what they do, they have two probes. One is at the soil crown, so at the crown of that fescue plot, and then another one is four inches right below it in the soil. And so what happens is these data loggers are set and configured to load every day 15 minute intervals. So I'm getting soil, soil temperatures at every 15 minutes. So as you can see in this plot right here, the fescue population is a much more abundant than in this one. In this one, you see a lot more crabgrass, weeds, etc. And here it's a mixture of more. Even though this hot stretch that we just had, this plot that's only mown four and a half weekly is still 10 to 15 degrees cooler than this plot that is, one, is mowed one inch weekly.